What's up, guys? It's Matthew here with Gadget University, and I'm at the Hartsfield Jackson International Airport in Atlanta, Georgia. And I have a LTE 4G device from Verizon, and I have my Zoom, and I have my 4G phone, the Motorola Atrix. Uh, so I figured I might as well go ahead and do a uh, speed test. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a 3G speed test between the two carriers, see who's faster. Give me a second. Let me disconnect from my wireless. Okay, so this is going to be Verizon speed test. Now this is 3G, this is not 4G. Okay, so it looks like you're getting a, about a 2 meg connection up. Let me go ahead and change that. Almost 2 meg connection up and a little ball about 600 kilobits. Uh, 600 kilobits up and about two megs down. Now with the Atrix, this is on 3G also. Latency test came back with about 452 milliseconds. Change that over to megabits. All right, see there, there is that infamous upload cap that has been disabled on the Atrix 4G. But you see the download speeds are significantly faster. Yeah, about two megs almost on the Verizon network, almost four megs on a AT&T 3G network. Now let's get to the big boy. Oh. I have my hotspot going right now too, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about the hotspot in a moment, but let me show you what LTE is like. Look at this, it's, it's still going. Jump back down to eight, jump back down to six. I wonder why it spiked. I'm gonna do one more test just to see if that was a fluke. Now the excuse, excuse the upload speeds. Uh, speed test needs to speedtest.net needs to update their packets or something like that um, because the upload is not accurate. We're gonna do one more test. And stuck. Let me disable the hotspot. Speed test one more time. There we go. Now, I am in the airport, so I am connecting to the airport's um, redirection of LTE. I, I did do some tests on my way while I was driving into Atlanta, and I got some pretty good scores. You can tell right here. 22 download, 12 download, 12 download, 9 download. And now in the airport, I'm getting a little bit lower. Still getting better than 3G, but um, not quite where everybody's expecting it to be. Let me do one more test. Actually, I won't do that. Uh, let me show you guys something to the the um, when you tether to a device, you're not getting this raw LTE uh, data connection. You're getting a, re a a redistribution of the connection. So, see now I just got a download of about eight megs, which is still better than most home internets. Um, let me turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm going to set that down and I'm going to connect my Zoom. OK, 
Okay, it's connecting at launcher. Okay, it is connected now. Let's go ahead and do a test. I want you to notice the speeds here. It's almost like Verizon has the hotspot capped at a certain speed. As you see, it's getting about a third of the speed that it is getting when you connect it directly to the device. Still very good speeds, still better than, you know, some internets, home internets, better than 3G, but uh, I can deal with it for now. I really can't wait until the Zoom gets the LTE update. But thanks guys for watching. This is Matthew at Gadget University. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and make sure you subscribe and like this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.